Just like you cannot have a bar and say, no blacks allowed, or you cannot open up a restaurant and say, no Chinese people allowed here, so too can you not have a food co-op and say, no Israelis or no Israeli products here. There are anti-discrimination laws in several states that make it unlawful to engage in commercial conduct in which you discriminate against a person or a company because of protected categories which include national origin. There's also now a trend that states are passing laws that prevent state pension funds and state contracts towards going to companies, I do believe also that advocate boycotts, and that is not a First Amendment issue because the state is not under any obligation to spend its money. This, a, a government cannot suppress free speech, but they, they are not obligated to spend their money um, on projects that they disagree with. And soon, hopefully, there will be a federal anti-discrimination statute uh, reenacting the export administration law and hopefully allowing for a private right of action for people who are discriminated against in this context. Kuwait Airways, um, operated a flight um, from, from JFK to London, and they refused to carry Israeli citizens, Israeli passport holders, and they were doing so in violation of the Open Skies Agreement. They were doing so in violation of the Export Administration Act, in violation of civil rights law, in violation of the um, Airline Deregulation Act, and in violation of their lease with Port Authority, and they were doing so for over a decade, and again, why the Jewish community never thought of hiring a lawyer to look this up, you know, until just recently for some, you know, eludes me. Um, but we did a study into it, and there was also a lawsuit that was filed by a great attorney, Jeff Levitke, uh, on behalf of a client at L. Dodd Gott. And we worked with him, and we uh, worked together with the Port Authority, which eventually um, delivered a letter to Kuwait Airways saying that if they don't um, comply with the law that they're in violation of their lease and lo and behold Kuwait Airways canceled its flight. Um, so we did the same in Europe. We have counsel in several different European countries. We've gone after Kuwait Airways there. We've completely shut down the inter-European inter leg of Kuwait Airways and the message is there's an economic price to pay for discriminating against Jews. So it's sort of the opposite of the Arab League boycott. In terms of today, I mean, I, I work with a whole range of people. I, I work with a group of Muslim women and, and I've spoken on campuses and the level of vitriol that is thrown at them, these women, um, for speaking together with a Jew and um, wanting to solve the problems and talk about the issues of theologically motivated terrorism is disgusting. You know, I worked um, and I helped a group that released the film Honor Diaries, which was produced by Muslim women together with Jews and highlights the human rights violations against women in Muslim majority countries and talks about issues like honor killing and female genital mutilation and the Council on American Islamic Relations, which claims to be a civil rights group, an advocacy group on behalf of American Muslims, but they're actually um, a Hamas-affiliated Muslim Brotherhood Front organization and an unindicted co-conspirator in a Hamas funding trial, came out and tried to shut the film down. And so we worked very hard together to uh, keep the screenings going and to talk about issues affecting Muslim women. So, you know, when you're in my field, you find allies all over the place and you find very, uh, strange enemies as well. Have you ever felt at risk? I mean, have you um, been in situations? I always don't want to answer that question because, okay. you know, I don't, I, I feel like you're putting like a negative vibe and a negative karma out there. Um, but I really did have a very jarring experience um, at the New York City Council where, you know, Steve Greenberg, who's uh, VP of Conference of Presidents, really, you know, put it well when he said, now I understand what our students are going through. When we were testifying, and I encourage everyone to watch the video, it's available publicly, when we were um, screamed at and harassed and people shouted things like F Israel and F Jews and F Zionism um, while holding signs that said free speech, and I got assaulted. I was walking out and, and a woman came up to me and started yelling and screaming and grabbing at me and she had to have four armed police officers escort her out of the New York City Council. I mean, that's pretty scary. So, 
from your perspective, is it getting, is it getting worse? Is Absolutely, and the reason why it's getting worse, I think, is because we've sat on our hands for too long, and we have not equipped those in our community who are ready to aggressively go after the anti-Semites. We have not equipped them.